is the size and power of these wildfires exploding out of... False star Kobe Bryant has been killed in a helicopter crash. It happened this morning. Now to growing concerns about the deadly coronavirus officially hitting the U.S. Here's the... You can see police here now firing tear gas into the crowd. They are trying to pull... Pockets of anarchy nationwide. Described as all... Toll has climbed to more than 100 people this morning. It's said to be the most. News has confirmed that Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg has died. 1.2 million Americans will be shipped out. State. Welcome back to Kind to the Mind with me, Zeline. Just for anyone that doesn't know what the show is about, it's all about mental health disorders and I will touch on those because those aren't talked about enough. This week, we are going to be doing depression. As you guys know, I have a thing called Song of the Week and I pick a song each week to describe whatever mental disorder we're going over and this week's Song of the Week is Car Radio by 21 Pilots. I think that song perfectly depicts how it feels to be depressed and how it's lonely and you feel like there's almost no life in you. You just feel sad a lot. Although this song is very sad, there is one part in the bridge that's very uplifting and very key, I think. He's trying to say to his audience, although I am depressed, although I am sad, I don't want to feel this way and I want to feel happy. I think that's a very hard conclusion for some people to come to when they're depressed because they feel that there's no way out, but there is a way out. We just have to learn to talk to each other. That is my song of the week. I think it's a really, really good message at the end of the day and I think it really helps someone feel less alone. All right, so we are going to get into Facts with Kelly with Kelly, and we're going to be doing Mythbusters today. So I'm going to tell her a myth, and she's going to say whether it's a myth or a fact, and she's going to tell me why. So my first myth buster I have for her is depression will always get better by itself. Myth. I think that depression is treatable. If you're diagnosed with depression, it's important to remember that depression is often social, psychological, and could be of like biological origins. It needs to be treated and sometimes in a variety of different ways. Medication or therapy and even lifestyle changes can help a lot. My second one is children cannot get depression slash teens are unhappy by nature. Myth. Childhood depression is different, I think, from having like normal or sad days. I think it's when that sadness becomes really persistent and interferes with normal day-to-day -day functioning. I think that's when it kind of can move more into a full depression. Our third one is depression only happens if something bad happens to you. Meh. You know, I think everybody experiences like sad thoughts or unhappinesses sometimes, you know, it can certainly raise your risk for depression, but I don't think it always has to be caused by a negative incident that happens. Our last question is depression is just self-pity. Myth. I think that self-pity can feel like being angry about what life's dealt you. I think it can also be about sometimes feeling sorry for yourself about things that might have happened to you. Whereas I think depression is a much longer lasting. It impacts like multiple areas of your life and it just brings on a lot more intensified feelings of depression and sadness. That's all with Facts with Kelly. Thank you, Kelly, for joining us okay. today. Thanks, have a great day. All right, so the last part of the show, I just wanted to have people say what they love about life. I think it's important to take the time, especially with everything going on right now. Let's talk about maybe a positive thing that's going on in our life. My love of my life is music. I love music. I don't know what I would do without music. So here's some of your peers and friends and teachers talking about what they love about life. Something that I love about life is being able to create stuff. Something that makes me happy is spending time with all my friends. Uh, definitely spending time with my family and traveling. Sunshine. Being with other people. That's what I like most about life. My family and my girlfriend. Coming to school every day and I love sharing my love of history with my students and seeing even in cool meet their faces nodding um, as they get something. This is what makes me happy. 
<laughs> what brings happiness to my life is my family and friends and music, I'd say. Um, I have no idea. <laughs> my family, my wife, my son, being with them and spending time with them. My family, my friends, and, and knowing that I can try and make a difference in the people around me in their lives. My family. Teaching. I love all the students I interact with. My family. I love to work out. I love vacationing. And also this winter we've taken on family skiing. So I'm developing a new love for winter as well. What do you love about life? My kids. And I love that eventually we're going to be back to school face to face. My friends and my family. I know that's probably a cliche, but absolute truth. Oh, being retired and do whatever I want to do. Skateboarding and spending time with my friends. The people that I have the opportunity to connect with and share with. Something that makes me happy is spending time with my friends, my family, listening to music, watching movies, just occupying myself and waking up every day. And just being able to interact with people and especially students. My family and my friends. Family and friends. Family and friends. My family. Being at that work? The people I work with. My family makes me happy. My motorcycles. My family. The ability to find redemption. You make mistakes sometimes and you get the chance to, to start fresh. And I love being curious about life, thinking about new ways to make myself a better person. <sighs> Laughter, good food, some time off work every now and then, relaxing family, friends, yeah, the usual stuff. My family and friends make me happy. My family, I love my work family, I love my friends, and life. What in life makes me happy? My family, my kids, being at peace, my faith, a really great meal, and a, just an excellent beer. That brings me happiness. If you need any other resources for help, reach out to these numbers and websites I am about to list. And remember to stay kind to the mind, and I will see you guys next week. Bye. working on your senior excerpt presentation? If you're taking academic research and composition or ARC first semester, it is due January 22nd. If you're taking academic research and composition, humanities, AP literature, and malcomp second semester first rotation, it will be due February 12th. And if you have a second rotation, it will be due March 5th. If you're doing early college, it's due February 19th. And if you're doing Bobcat virtual, it will also be due February 19th. And remember, it is a requirement for graduation. All of the information is in the 2021 Google Classroom under the Classwork tab. If you're not already in the 2021 Google Classroom, you should email your counselor so they can give you the information to access the classroom. Good luck! Hey guys, it's Ruby, and I'm here with Amani and Sean, and we're here at Bicentennial Park to have a sledding competition.
guys, it's Brie. I'm vlogging my life. A day in the COVID life. All right. Hey guys, it's Brie. Um, I forgot what I was gonna say. Okay. Hey guys, it's Brie. Um, I'm vlogging my life. <laughs> no, don't say that. <laughs> hey guys, it's Brie. Um, I'm, I need to stop saying um. Okay. Yep, there's another blooper. Let's get into it. <laughs> All right, stop by Ryan's. Hi, Mr. Ryan, GBH TV. <laughs> All right, it's dinner time with my friends. I'm learning how to play you guys. <laughs> yeah. I'll take <laughs> That was the worst one. <laughs> it is currently 10 o'clock and we're playing ping pong. <laughs> hey vlog, it's currently like 2.20, we were supposed to be here like 5 minutes ago, but it's cool. Um, we have practice and we have to go get a COVID test. We are so happy to be here! We I love volleyball! Yeah. <laughs> All of us Maya. rebels walking in without masks. Test look at, look yeah. at Maya! <laughs> Day two of getting tested for yeah. COVID. Day one went well, everyone got tested negative. So for day two, we're hoping that someone just positive. You can't say that. I'm just kidding, I'm just joking. Shut up, Melina. Okay, right, so here we go. This is the makeup today. This is how we come to practice. <laughs> it's stupid that we have to get tested and still wear masks. I agree. There you go. Good job, Remy. I was with them, so I just figured I had it wide open. Yeah. But you guys took them too, right? Yeah. Well. <laughs> I'm vlogging. You want to say how to vlog? It's my. Right. <laughs> it's so. I know you can take it from there. Can I touch anything else? Sorry, I'm finished. Are you ready? Am I good? I don't know, I don't know. Hey, I'm about to get tested. <laughs> I already got tested, I'm waiting for my results. So it's gonna be positive. COVID test was negative, and now I get to go practice, so yay! Hey, welcome back. I'm getting interviewed right now. <laughs> Is this for your vlog? Yeah. Oh, everyone's gonna. <laughs> All right. Can I have you say and spell your first and last name? Okay, coaches, how do you feel about my interview? I didn't see it. I think you did fantastic, as always, Bree. Well, it's Bree, you. so you can't go wrong. You're right. Thanks. So we just got asked today if we wanted to be here, and I said no. <laughs> no! <laughs> yep. Well, it's currently 5.55 a.m. Um, I have to leave in five minutes for practice. Um, it's just my luck that I'm gonna hit every single red light on the way to school. So, I'm gonna be late. Sorry to my coach. Hey guys, I'm at the gym with my brother. It's chest day. We're getting big. Oh yeah, guys, get it. Mm hmm. Yep. Big bodies. Really good. Just gonna caption it. 
No, I'm not. That's only Ryan. Okay, guys, that's the end of my vlog. Um, I'm sorry, my life is much more eventful, but a lot of clips got deleted, so you didn't see a lot. See you next time. Bye.